Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for some more Manhunt Checkpoint. I'm sitting here in this premiere and just eyeing up all of the... Suddenly there's oracles absolutely everywhere and I'm trying really really hard not to drive any of them because I keep using oracles and I'm bored of them basically. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to be using a, an objectively worse car but on the plus side it might mean that I'm a bit less obvious to the hunters. I. I assume they've started to get used to me driving Oracle so much. So, first checkpoint is is the origin. We, we've um, we've called it this one. This one is the uh, the zero zero coordinates of, of the the zero zero position of the uh, of the map coordinates. So it's a nice um, easy one to create in the um, in in the in in the game. Um, but it's not so obvious as to where it is when you look at the ooh, as a hunter when you look at the map itself. So I'm just gonna play it by here and get rammed by a hunter um, yeah that's a good way to start the game start the uh, start the run um, my car is already damaged I guess I better try and find a new one um, but not while there's a hunter lurking around right behind me like this because that's a bit too dangerous where's he gone seriously where has he gone is he still there no I don't think he's still there okay I'm getting that panto which is also a ridiculous it's car and not particularly good, but it's oh right. There we go. Good. Um, it's not a particularly good car, but it's it's got this sort of almost comical agility about it. You can, uh, when it's moving slowly, you can re you can absolutely fling it around and do a 180 degree spin on the spot. Um, in a way, it's sort of the the polar opposite of the, of the Windsor that Tristan drives. Um, it's it's not particularly quick, but it has a certain amount of manoeuvrability, particularly at slow speeds. So, I have managed to get away from the uh, the Windsor in this car in the past. Um, it has a certain so it has a certain charm to it, but it is definitely not one of the best cars in the uh, in the GTA stable. <laughs> now, how do I get? I need to get across the other side of. Ooh, I need to stay in my lane. I need to get. That's the wrong button. I need to get over to the other side of the. Um, oh, it's up there. Yeah, okay. So I need to cross over the um, cross over the highway and then head head way over to the east, and that'll take me up to the uh, to the checkpoint. This shouldn't be too difficult. We shall see. Why are you not following? This is another problem I, I have: is that the AI don't necessarily follow the painted lines on the road. So if I follow them, I can end up looking suspicious, and that's not what we want. We don't want me to look suspicious. That's just going to get me in trouble. Also, this panto is so small <laughs> that I need to be what looks like miles over the line before I'm in the right place. Oh dear, it's a ridiculous car. But it's quite there's quite a lot of them around today. The spawn set seems to really like pantos. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot, see how it goes. And um, hope, hope against hope that it actually does reasonably well. And I can come up with some sort of panto joke for the uh, for the title of this video as well. Oh no, I can't. Oh yes, I can. Yeah, it's about about the right position. Okay, so where is it? If I go, okay, so if I'm, I'm at five ways. If I take the the, the the slightly right over there and just follow that road up towards the shopping centre, I think it's going to bring me more or less to the checkpoint. Looking at where it seems to sit on the mini map as I as I rotate the camera. So let's give that a shot. We'll we'll see if it takes me where I want to go. I don't know if I'm in the right lane for this or not. I think I might be. Ooh, I wish I could take a bullet. That'd be nice. But no, the game the game simply won't uh, won't let me take a checkpoint if I'm in a sports car or a supercar. It's um, it's it's designed to block that sort of thing. Come on, lights. Let's have a green light. I suppose I, I should give a bit of an introduction to the game as well for um, anyone who's uh, coming along to this one as their first episode. So the um, the objective of the game for myself as the prey is to drive around the city and to take all of the checkpoints. There's five of them in total, and they're they're picked randomly from a list. So I I don't know where they're going to be, where the next ones will be. The hunters don't know where they're going to be. So we can't really plan ahead too far. But um, but there's a bit of but it but they, it keeps the, it keeps it varied and gives us some, yeah it gives us some variety and keeps it interesting. The hunters, and there's three of them today, have to try and stop me. And they do that by by ramming my car off the road, which is quite easy in a panto because it doesn't weigh anything. Um, 
and then by or by by uh, trying to shoot me. Um, and they're they're allowed to use basically they've got shotguns and I think they've got AK 47s so they they've got a decent amount of firepower um, to allow them to bring me down. But to be honest, most of the time when they get me, it's not it's not raw firepower that uh, that that does it. It's the fact that they've worked out who I am, they've pinned the car, and I'm trapped, and they can then just shoot me in the in, in the car where I am. And I can, yeah, sometimes I try, I'll try and jump out and run away, but it it never really works quite as well as I wanted to. Yeah, that, this car was really small. Pull up further closer to the lines. <laughs> so, the, in order to make it make the game a, a bit more interesting and to make me a bit more um, and to keep the tension up, the hunters all drive brightly coloured coupes with under lighting and coloured headlights and so on. So that makes them really obvious whenever we see them. And it also makes them obvious to each other as well, which reduces the chances of friendly fire incidents. So maybe that's maybe that's actually a bad thing. Uh, but it means I can see them when from from a mile off, at least in theory, uh, which does help a bit. Okay, this is a bit further up than I thought it was, but that's okay. I'm heading in the right direction. Um, and so, it, the, the, so yeah, they they drive coupes, and I'm in, 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 in and I'm not allowed to drive anything better than a coupe. So I can. I can drive compacts, I can drive SUVs and muscle cars, um, th those sort of things in general, but but not um, but not sports cars or supercars because they're just they're just a bit too quick. They stop the game being quite so much fun. What's going on there? Some random person getting out of a car. It doesn't look like a hunter. I don't know. Right, so that's now. There's a lot of alleyways around this checkpoint. I'm very tempted to try and take this one on foot because it's a good way to not get spotted because the hunters are, are looking for cars. So if I go up to if I go to a checkpoint on foot, then they, then it's much harder to spot me. And it looks like there's some, a few buildings there. There's an, that nice L-shaped alleyway in the middle of the block. Um, there goes a uh, there goes Pete. So if I get in, if I go into that alleyway and then get out of the car and go on foot, maybe I can get between those buildings on the right hand side, just below the um, just below the checkpoint, and sneak up and grab it without them um, without them having a car to spot. The other possibility is to go a bit higher and get into that alleyway above it, but I don't think that's going to give me quite such good cover. I'll save that as as a possible plan B, I think. So we'll go into the alleyway up here car is having some physics problems. Yeah, there's no hunters around, so I can probably get in here without being spotted. Bimble along to the end. Now, let's have a look at let's have a look around here. This is going to require a little bit of exploring, which isn't ideal, but I think it's I think it's going to be worth it if I can find a nice sneaky way to get the checkpoint. So what's no, there's nothing around here. Can I jump up? Can I jump up here? No. I don't think this is a climbable wall. But I can come out the end here. And I did just see a purple oh, there's a purple car purpling around over there. Let's not stand there where I'm visible around the corner. Okay, he's got suspicious about that. There are lots of pedestrians over here. That's a really good sign. If there's lots of other pedestrians around, then hopefully I can sneak through this area without being without sticking out. Okay, it's a bit of a. Why are these people? Why, why are they running? I just want to be sneaky and subtle. That's. It's terrifying being this close to another. Being this close to a hunter. <laughs> so I need to get. They're all very close around here. I want to go this way now. Okay, they haven't noticed me. They've now, they will now be aware that I've taken the checkpoint. I don't see. Oh, I could get in that. Get in that sports car. That'd be tempting. There's purple. He hasn't noticed me. Good. Orange is also lurking around. Now. <laughs> Is he going past? Yes, he is. Right. There's an explosion happening. People are getting scared. Ooh, ah, my mouse went berserk. That's not good. That's not going to help hide me. Okay, I can now come back down here. I can get back to my panto, if, assuming it hasn't despawned. 
There's nobody following me. Good. If they're following me down here, I'd be in a lot of trouble because I can't really... You can't outrun a car when you're on foot, basically. And to be honest, you probably can't outrun a car when you're in a panto either. But we will. T but we would give it a try. We could at least try. Can that door shut, please? Thank you. Okay. So that was quite successful. The next one is what we've described as west of Red Car Park. So I think this is on the the other side of the um, the highway. So there's there's the drop off the highway that you can do to get this one. But they all know about that one, and they know I know. I, they know that I know that they know about that one. So I'm probably not going to want to take that. This is quite a drive from here, actually. Um, it's going to take me a little while to get there, so I'm going to put my foot down. Which in the panto isn't saying much, but it's, it's another one over there. These cars are everywhere. <laughs> okay, I've overshot a little bit, but that's a good thing. Because if I loop round and come in from a slightly unexpected, a slightly less obvious direction, then maybe they'll be less suspicious, a bit less likely to spot me. I don't know. Uh, so it's down. Yeah, if I take the next, if I head over to the next um, next set of traffic lights and turn left there, I don't care if the lights are red. There's no hunters around probably. If I turn left here, this will take me down, and I'll get be able to get across the highway here. And that brings me in, yes, along here. The alternative is to get on the highway and drop off the jump. But that may... I didn't mean to put a... Uh, drop a, a thing down there. Uh, I don't think that's cheating. I know the map well enough to uh, to find my way down there. And I can't turn it off very easily now that I've added it. Um, yeah, I could do the drop off the highway. But as I say, they're probably going to see me drop off. I can't take the checkpoint from on the highway because it's far too far. They're going to see me drop off. They're going to know it's me. They're going to chase me, and I'm probably be in trouble. So I'm not going to try and do that, even though it's tempting. I'm going to whinge a bit about the AI doing that thing where they turn right around you when you're stopped, because that's really annoying and just looks suspicious. But what can you do? There we go. I've got a green light now anyway, so I can go. Cavalcade pulls out right in front of me. Thank you for that. <laughs> Uh, I've got a green light here, that's convenient. Carry on over this road, over the high, along this road over the highway. We have a chorus of pantos parked up here. Oop, there we go. And then, yeah, I could just... Let's not take quite the obvious route in that the sat-nav is suggesting. Let's turn... Oop, not there. Let's take the left. I was too, looking at the map too, too much to look at the traffic lights then. That's dangerous. Yeah, that's good spacing. Good enough spacing. Okay, so I'll turn left here and then right where that um, SUV is coming out. And that'll bring me down onto the checkpoint from the north. So I think that's probably, probably a good way to approach it. I don't think it makes a lot of difference. They're all, all directions are going to be much the same. Um, about the only one that would be extra sneaky would be to go past it and then try and approach it from the south, but I think that's a bit too far to a bit too far to go. So I'll go but actually this is probably the least good way to approach it because the uh, actually no it's not quite it's quite quite the least least good. But it's not it's I can yeah, okay, right turn on red. <laughs> um <clears throat> Okay, so I'm now close. I don't know how where the hunters are. They're all obviously further away from it than I am. But let's go into this lane, because then I can pull up here. Then I can realistically drive away from it as well. Like this. I don't think I was spotted. There's a filter lane here that's going to let me go back round. There's two hunters here now. I don't like this. No, they're getting out and shooting. Oh, that was a very good shot. I'm not used to the first shot. Kill it, take me out like that. That was um, a bit good. <laughs> yeah. uh, does that so assume you swap Tristan? I'm second now. So I think we've uh, both swapped with him at this point. Yeah. I'm third now. Second. Second. Uh. 
fourth. Third. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't think he's west. I'm not really talking with anyone. Higher, lower. There's a bunch of cars around here that could be him. No, I'm forced now. Yeah, he has to come closer. Third. Are you forced, Pete? Second. Uh, still second. You don't fit in that car, Pete. I won straight fourth, like as soon as I got out of close. Yeah, that was. Uh, it was only me yeah, stopping. Take the checkpoint. Take the checkpoint. Are you fourth still, Mike? Yep. Fourth. I've just gone third. Just gone third. Third. Just gone fourth. That looked like it's lights. No, that's not obeying physics. Mm. Bound to be an AI. He is very I'm close. third, right, I'm fourth right on the edge of the close. Nice. So I'm, I'm going to drop taking it. Yeah. Hmm? He's taking it. Okay. Any ideas? Uh, yeah, I think I might have him here. I've got a smart car. Went oh, off yeah. in a bit of a hurry. Uh, I am at... Uh, I don't know where I am, to be honest with you. Heading north. Oh, uh, art gallery. Yeah. That one there. That one there. Got him. Nice. 